Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 55. That is, what are the different levels of software testing? Let me answer. There are four levels in software testing. First level is unit testing. Followed by unit testing, we have integration testing. Followed by integration testing, we have system testing. And finally, followed by system testing, we have the acceptance testing. These are the four levels of software testing. Coming to the first level of software testing, that is unit testing. So in unit testing, individual units will be tested independently, okay? So individual units will be tested independently, that is separately, one by one. Each and every unit will be separately tested. Who will be testing these individual units as part of unit testing? Developers will be testing this unit testing. Okay, will be performing this unit testing. And this unit testing will fall into the white box testing category where while performing the unit testing, developers can see the code of this particular units that they are testing and also they can access the code of these units. Okay, that's why here code is visible and accessible. So unit testing will fall into the white box testing category and is performed by the developers. And coming to the next level of software testing, that is integration testing, which comes after the unit testing. After the unit testing is performed, developers will perform the integration testing. So this also falls into the white box testing category. Okay, similar to unit testing, integration testing will also fall into the white box testing category where code is visible and accessible. And who will be performing here also? Integration testing will be performed by the developers only. But what exactly is this integration testing? Here, the group of logical units, okay? A group of logically connectable units will be connected together and perform testing, okay? Logically, they will group the units. Developers will logically group these units which are tested independently into a, into a kind of group, okay? So logical group, they will uh, unite the units and then perform testing, okay? So that's what is integration testing. And here in integration testing, we have several approaches, guys, okay? There are several approaches that developers may follow, okay? Developers may follow different type of approaches for performing the integration testing. What are the different approaches that developers will perform to perform the integration testing? Developers may perform top-down approach, top-down integration testing approach, or they can perform bottom-up integration testing approach. They can perform sandwich integration testing approach. They can also perform the big bang integration testing approach. These are the different approaches that developers may follow to perform the integration testing, where the group of units which can be logically grouped together will be grouped and tested as a integration testing okay, by developers. That's what is integration testing. Now, third level of software testing we have is a system testing. Here guys, system testing will be performed by the software testers. Okay, Till now unit testing, integration testing was done by the developers, right? But system testing will be done by the software testers. And uh, this falls into the black box testing category. System testing will fall unlike unit testing, integration testing, which fall into the white box testing category, but system testing will fall into the black box testing category. As part of system testing, software testers will test the entire application functionality as a whole, okay? Complete functionality of the software, they will test as a whole. As a whole, they will perform testing. And while performing testing, they will test according to the client specified requirements, okay? So while performing the entire application as a whole, okay? Software testers while performing the system testing where they will be testing the entire application as a whole, they will be using the client specified requirements to verify the stuff, okay? to see whether the developers have developed the software according to the client specified requirements or not. They will check. Not only that guys, I'm saying this as a black box testing. That means here, the software testers will perform system testing using the visual appearing functionalities of the software. Here code is not visible guys, okay? Code is not, neither code is visible nor accessible in this case of system testing because it is a black box. So software tester doesn't know what code has been implemented or developed by the developers for building the software, okay? without having the knowledge of the code, which is uh, written for developing the software application, testers will be performing testing on the entire application as a whole using the visual appearing functionalities of the software where they will be testing according to the client specified requirements. Okay, they will see whether the application that is developed by the developers is working according to the client specified requirements or not is the main focus here. So what about the user needs and expectations? Here main focus of system testing is on the whether the Developed application is developed according to the client specific requirements or not is a main focus, but less, num less amount of focus is given to the user needs and expectation in case of system testing. But there is one more level of software testing that is acceptance testing where more focus is given to the user needs and expectations. Okay, in system testing, more focus is given to the client specified requirements. Okay, whereas in acceptance testing, 
here the testing will be performed to check whether the developed software developed by the developers is according to the user needs and expectations or not that is a main important focus in case of the acceptance testing okay in case of acceptance testing whether the developed software is according to the user needs and expectations is the important focus okay it's the business is important here okay whether the software that is developed will solve the problems of the users or end users or not real customers that are going to purchase the software or not is a acceptance testing guys acceptance testing is generally performed at two two levels one is alpha testing followed by alpha testing beta testing is also performed okay so in case of alpha testing guys okay first of all guys before i explain alpha and beta testing here you have to understand that acceptance testing is also belong to the black box testing category where code is neither visible nor accessible okay in case of acceptance testing code that is used for developing the software by the developers is neither visible to the people who are performing the acceptance testing nor nor it's accessible nor visible okay nothing is uh, you cannot you don't you will not have any knowledge of the code here okay you will just see the visual appearing functionalities of the software using that we will perform the acceptance testing and here the main goal is to see whether the developed software is according to the end user needs and expectations or not okay and now you understood it is a black box testing similar to the system testing here coming to the alpha testing guys internal team will be performing the alpha testing okay who will be performing the alpha testing internal team so the client who has given the project right uh, that particular client side people will be there who knows the business well okay there will be some people from the client side who has given the project to other company for developing and testing okay that client side people will be there who has good knowledge on the business knowledge on the software that is getting developed by the other company okay so these people will come up with a checklist case and uh, verify whether the system testing completed software is according to the user needs or ex expectations or not it will check okay these uh, people who are from the client side they are interacting with the customers or whatever it is they are collecting the feedback and all they will create a checklist with that checklist they will check whether the developed software which has passed the system test testing is actually meeting the end user needs or expectations they are going to check if it is not check it's not matching what they will do this internal team of the company that is a client company okay will give the feedback to the company who is actually company where the developers and testers are residing and who are performing the development and testing operations of the software okay and based on the received feedback the developers and testers have to support this internal team so that uh, the final version of the software is developed and created which will pass the acceptance testing okay that is alpha testing guys okay in case of alpha testing internal team will take uh, care of the things and developers and testers will support the internal team from the client company now coming to the beta testing after the alpha testing is successfully tested and approved as part of user uh, it can be called as user acceptance testing also after the alpha testing of acceptance testing is done then the company will not directly release the software into the market okay so what the company will do is the uh, the client company will release the software to the limited number of end users okay not everyone in the world only limited end users of customers uh, it will release the software so with an intention of collecting more feedback okay with an intention of collecting more real time feedback the company will before releasing the software into the market after completing the alpha testing also it will release the software only to the limited number of end users or customers or who are going to use the software in the coming days okay so those people also will use the software and they will come across some defects or they will come across some feedback or something they will share the feedback and accordingly the company okay will accommodate those changes uh, they will uh, go through the feedback given by the real end users and then accordingly they will update the software and get it uh, developed and tested by the team and then finally once the alpha testing beta testing is completed and approved then the final version of the software will be released into the market okay these are the different software testing levels guys before the software gets released into the market all these levels of testing will be performed at different levels of the uh, sdlc or whatever you can say okay unit testing integration testing will be done by the developers where system testing will be done by the software testers where acceptance testing will be done by the okay internal team or limited end, end users or customers okay who are going to use the software so these are the different levels of software testing so hope guys you got the answer for what are the different levels of software testing so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to another i'm going to explain or answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye